is uh, Mr. Gosar of Arizona for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, Chairman Comer and his team have done an outstanding job of uncovering the millions of dollars sent to Hunter Biden from foreign sources located in places like China, Romania, and the Ukraine. It's pretty obvious that the Hunter Biden's only avenue for making money is the influence over his father. Now, the only thing missing is direct evidence that Joe Biden knew and participated in these bribery schemes. That is where you got brave men have come in. Their investigative effort, efforts have the potential to uncover direct evidence in a paid play, and in some cases, it did. Yet they're very hindered by doing their jobs by the Department of Justice Deep State. As Mr. Shapley said, put it, quote, at every stage decisions were made to benefit the, ben the subject of this investigation, end of quote. That's under Biden and by extension, Joe Biden. Now these men are not political people. They're hardworking agents. The last thing they want to do is speculate. So I'm not going to stick to, I'm going to stick to confirming the most egregious examples of the DOJ's prosecutorial misconduct, abuse, and favoritism detailed in their testimonies and leave it up to the American people to draw their own conclusion. Mr. Shapley, under U.S. tax law, taxes owed all our, on, on, on all income received from legal and legal sources, right? Y yes, uh, yeah. Hypothetically, if a person is subject to U.S. taxes receives a million dollars for serving as a director for, let's say, an oil company, they would owe taxes on that one million, perhaps as much as 38 percent, correct? If they're a U.S. taxpayer, yes. Failure to declare the receipt of such income violates U.S. tax code, correct? Uh, yes, it would. Failing to timely pay the tax owed is what, in whatever amount violates the tax code, correct? Yes, it does. And the tax code has criminal and civil penalties for these violations, correct? That is correct. So now, hypothetically, if a person receives a million-dollar payment and then conveys 10 percent of that amount to another person, that person making that payment may have to pay a gift tax on that amount, correct? Yeah. If they say it's a gift, yes. Yeah. Or conversely, the person receiving the money has to pay income tax on the, the money as well, correct? Uh, if on the gift portion or yes. on the income portion? Mm -hmm. No, so on the gift portion. They would, they would have to report the gift on their uh, tax returns, but I, I don't believe it would be taxable to them. And then and, and the failure to do is subject to criminal or civil penalties, correct? Yeah. Filing yeah. false tax returns is, is against the law, yes. Yeah. Now, is there, there, is there de definite confirmation that all evidence on the Hunter Biden laptop has been reviewed by federal agents and prosecutors? The prosecutor stated that evidence was withheld from the investigators. We don't know how much. Did DOJ prosecutors allow your team to access the laptop? I'm, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Yeah, did the DOJ prosecutors allow your team to access the laptop? To dr the DOJ prosecutors. So the, the, when the laptop comes in, there are computer investigative specialists that review the, the laptop, and uh, you know they create reports and pull stuff from And you were the prohibited from lo looking at anything on the laptop, right? We saw some, but not all. Okay, gotcha. Is it normal for the DOJ to deny this type of access to investigators? No, that's the first time I've experienced being limited to, invest, uh, to uh, evidence. Did Assistant Attorney Wolf collaborate with the data on the laptop? Did she co collaborate the data? Corroborate. Oh, corroborate. I, I, I wouldn't know. Okay. Now, I, I guess my question comes back, and, and the reason I went down this rabbit hole is that is it your conclusion that you were interfered with and that those that interfered with you are, uh, are as guilty as those creating the problem? Are they accessories to a crime? Is what I'm getting to. Well, I would agree that there were investigative steps that, that were definitely obstructed by DOJ that I'd never seen in my 14 years, and just honestly, just makes no sense. We wouldn't want to collect all of the evidence available. Um, I, I can't, I can't uh, opine on your on the second part of your question. Gotcha, um, Mr. Ziegler. Did the DOJ prosecutors deny your request to look into the famous quote? I am sitting here with my father. Text from Hunter Biden. Did they allow you to obtain location information to see where the text was sent from? So I, I, I know it was an issue that, that came up, whether we can get the location data, and I know that that was a conversation that I would have had with uh, the assigned prosecutors. Um, it, 
I recall them saying to me that, how do we know that he's there? How do we know that that's true, the statement that's being made there? And then I said, well, we would get the location data. So as a part of my normal investigation, that's what I would do. And what I can tell you is it, I know I didn't do it. I don't know if the FBI ever ended up doing it. It was kind of like, uh, it was kind of like a let's wait and, or I, I need to think about it, I guess is the proper response. Gotcha. My time is up, I yield back. Gentlemen's time's expired. Chair now recognizes uh, 